Oh my god, do you see this garbage? Um, it's not that bad. What did you just say? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it totally blows, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, can I get the refill on popcorn, please? Okay, boys, I bought some more snacks. Ah, sweet! Thanks, Chica. Ah. Who could that be? Hey, do any of you guys want to get the door? Aren't you the owner of this place? Do it yourself. Shrek, can you do it? It would, but it's so far away. Ugh, what about you, Thomas? I have no hands. Oh, right. Sorry about that. You know what? I'll just go answer it myself. Okay, who could that be? <gasps> Hello, Freddy. Yeah, long time no see. Did you miss us, Freddy? Not really. Oh, what? Just kidding. Well, I missed you, puppet. Not, not you, BB. Really? Dude, nobody likes you. Yeah, he's right, BB. Wait a minute, who are you? Oh, yeah, this is Bendy. I'm kind of just... here. Alright, just come in. Whoa, Thomas the Train? I'm a tank engine, not a train. Jeez, okay. What? Baby? Hey, Bonnie, how's life going? What is he doing here? Whoa, who are these knuckleheads? I am Joe Mama. <laughs> oh! Alright, listen, Buckaroo, do you do you know who I am? An idiot. I can fight you. I am made of metal. That's nice. I'm an ink demon. Everyone be quiet. Thomas, you sound like an angry kid on Xbox Live. And Bendy, you're being a jerk. How? Because you can't take a joke. Well, I could take a joke. I just slapped him because I felt like it. What? Why? Because I'm part cat. Yeah, sorry about that, Freddy. He's right. He is actually part cat. You better not break anything here, do you understand? Hmm? So, it's been a while. Why did you two come here? Oh, uh, what about me? Well, I don't really know you, so I'm not including you in the conversation. Well, we heard that you were opening a new pizzeria. Yeah, we are. Wait, how'd you know? Mangle told us. Wait, Mangle's here? Yeah, why? I gotta go annoy her. See you later, losers. <clears throat> Just cut to the chase, puppet. We know why you're here. Why? Because you want to mooch off of us. Bonnie, let him explain. Look, while it is true that we don't really have a place to stay at the moment, I figured we would just come by and say hi. I told you! Bonnie. Look, I know things haven't been that good between us, so I'll just get baby and go. Puppet, you can stay if you'd like. Don't fall for it, Freddy. He's guilt-tripping you. I am not. Bonnie, you're not helping. Just... Go, okay? But Freddy! Go! <laughs> Freddy. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. You can stay a little longer if you'd like, puppet. And I highly doubt you guys just came here to say hello. What's the problem? I just want to know if BB, Bendy, and I could help you. Well, I could use some more help around the place. We don't fully open for another week. And I don't have too much help around here. So I suppose I won't turn down your offer. Really? I'll go tell BB. Wait, BB is helping? Yeah, so is Bendy. Mmm, cat bed. I don't know. He seems kind of destructive to me. Trust me, Bendy isn't as bad as he seems. That's totally incorrect. Yeah, I'm not so sure if he should be here. Alright, look, just please give him a chance. Alright, alright, I'll give him an interview. Thank you so much, Freddy. Bendy, get ready for your interview. Oh, but I don't want to be interviewed. Do you want to live in a dirty apartment? Yes. Too bad. We're working here now. Soak it up. No. All right, you know what? You're coming with me. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are we going? Follow me.
Hey, Mangle, did you miss me? Ugh, great, you're here. Oh, come on, I know you still like me. Go away, peasant. You know what? Hey! Now can you talk to me? No! Hey, Mangle, are you... BB. What's up, Foxy? What are you doing here? Just came to visit. He's being annoying. I see that you haven't changed. Did you expect me to? Just get out. Fine. Why are you dragging Bendy, Puppet? Oh, well, uh, Freddy's gonna interview him to work here. We're working here? Yeah, why? Aw, oh, man, that sucks for you guys. Don't be rude, baby. Put me down! You going to behave? No. Then I'm not putting you down. <sighs> okay, Bendy, since we don't have the budget for an actual table right now, uh, I'm just gonna interview you without one. So tell me, what's something you'd like to do? I like to hit things. Aside from that, uh, sleeping, I guess? Well, if you're gonna work here, then you can't sleep. Why not? Because you need to be proactive when doing your work. Now, next question. Have you had any experience in any other career? No. That's a problem. Hey, don't judge my lifestyle. Too bad I just did. You're kinda mean. You just punched Thomas earlier. But that was funny. No, it wasn't. Now, do you know how to do any proper maintenance work? What is that? Think of it as cleaning or fixing up the place. But I don't want to clean. Well, it's one of the only jobs that I have. What are the other ones? Do you want to plumb the toilets? Ew, no. Do you want to perform for children? Can I do dark humor? Uh, absolutely not. I don't want to do that. Those are the only positions I have. Then I'm not going to work here. And you're not going to live here either. I don't care. <sighs> Goodbye, Bendy. How did it go, Freddy? Not good at all. He won't choose any of the jobs that I offered. He also wanted to do dark humor in front of children. Look, puppet, I appreciate that you're trying to help him, but I really think Bendy needs to go. Alright, look, Freddy, I really, really think that Bendy has a lot of potential to be proactive. <sighs> you can try. Thanks a bunch, Freddy, but we might have to stay here for a bit. Fine, but you better owe me. I will, Freddy. I'll work here, and so will BB. Thanks, puppet. Puppet, we need to talk. Sure, uh, about what? Bendy, he needs to go. But Freddy... I've been talking to Bendy. He said he's going to be looking for another job. Another job? I haven't seen him leave the house once, and he's been really getting on the other's nerves. He spent all of Foxy's savings on five cat beds and 25 cans of catnip, snuck spinach into Shrek's burger, and took a bite out of Olaf's nose. What? Yeah, dude. He's going to get kicked out. Freddy, please. If you kick him out... Then that means BB has to go with him, and that also means that I have to go with them. And I really don't want to be living out in the streets. It's dangerous. <sighs> Fine, I'll give him one more chance. If he doesn't get a job, then I'm kicking him out for good. Thank you so much, Freddy. I'll talk to Bendy about it. Good. Sup, Puppet. Don't suck me, Bendy. You need a job, or else we're gonna get kicked out. We are? Yes, BB. All of us. Dude, I'm still thinking about it. No, you haven't. That's why tomorrow you're gonna do a little driving. Ugh, why do you have to be such a buzzkill? Why can't you be cool? I'd rather be a buzzkill and take care of my life than be cool and not take care of my life.
Bendy, I don't normally agree with Puppet, but I really don't want to get kicked out. La 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 la, I can't hear you. You're getting a job tomorrow. Puppet, it's like five in the morning. Bendy, I applied you for a job at a nearby office. We need to get there by seven. What? I hate offices. I'd rather work at the circus. At least that place has more eventful stuff. Bendy, just give it a shot. Besides, you might actually like it. No, now go back to sleep. Hey. Okay, Bundy, we're here. Remember what I told you, act professional and don't be rude. Can I break stuff? No, that's disrespecting their property. All right, whatever, man. Okay, Bendy, you're going to head over to that building on the right, okay? Enter through the big glass doors. There will be an attendant there. Just tell them that you work here. I don't need to be interviewed. I filled out the form already. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, Bendy, uh, this is your computer. We're going to be working on flyers today uh, for our new campaign in the business. So if you have any ideas, just come let us know, okay? I'll uh, let you get to work now. Time to watch some dank memes. <laughs> Excuse me, can you, like, quiet down, please? Uh, no. I'm trying to concentrate on my work. Please be respectful. I'm a demon I physically can't respect. You look like a cat. I'm half cat, half demon. Look, dude, if you're not gonna respect the rules around here, I'm gonna call security. You want it louder? No. <laughs> Hey! Bendy, we don't tolerate that in our office. Get out. Sweet. Sup. You got fired? I know. Awesome, right? No! Now Freddy's gonna kick us out! Okay, and? We'll be living on the streets! Nice. <laughs> Bendy, why can't you just take anything seriously? You may not care about what's gonna happen to us, but I do. Think of BB. We still need to take care of him. How are we gonna do that if we can't live somewhere nice? I don't know. <laughs> we are so toast. Hey, Freddy. What do you want, BB? Is it true that you're gonna kick us out if Bendy doesn't get a job? What? Where'd you hear that? Puppet told us last night. Well, uh, yes, I do plan to kick Bendy out if he doesn't get his act together. Freddy, please, if you kick Bendy out, then I have to go, and Puppet has to go too, and we really don't want to go with him. Why shouldn't I? I have plenty of reasons to do so. For starters, our past. I didn't want to look back at it, but it just seems that I can't escape from it. First, Mangle, and now you two, or three, I should say. BB, you and Puppet always cause trouble for us, and Bendy's even worse. Look, I know I'm still a jerk most of the time, but Puppet isn't like that anymore. He genuinely tries to take care of me. Look, BB, I'm sorry, but I feel like you guys are just going to ask me for another chance and then mess it up. I don't know if I can fully trust you. All right, Freddy, get over it. What? Yeah, dude, get over the past. I know that you're still harping on it. How about we start fresh, okay? We'll all work around the place, have fun, and maybe, just maybe, be a bigger family? I don't know. But the point is, you got the chance for a new life, and you took it. We took it. So let's make the best of it, shall we? I... I guess you're right. 
I never thought you'd say such words. I'll let Bendy stay, but only for you guys so you don't need to worry about it too much. Just don't expect me to go light on Bendy if he acts up. Thanks. <clears throat>